late. Uh, just how good is the shot feeling right now? Uh, it feels really good. Um, you know, really just want to keep stepping in and taking it with confidence when I'm open. Um, but it feels great. My, my game feels great. Uh, my touch feels good. So I feel like I'm in a really good space. It's just, you know, important to keep taking it when it's there. When on that possession are you thinking, like, I'm going to have to let this go? Well, I was um, preparing for the entire possession. I knew I would end up open. Uh, and so it was just a matter of if the ball was going to find me or not. So I was prepared the whole possession. If I caught it, I was shooting it. And, you know, it came to me, clock running down, just took it, and it went in. Awesome. Draymond, step. Steph's averaging 6.9 rebounds more than everybody except Looney, and he's pretty close to Looney. Um, how how practical or how important is that to your success? And why do you think? I mean, he's always been a pretty good rebounder, but the numbers has jumped significantly this year. Why do you think that is? He stole my triple double rebound. Uh, <laughs> no, I, he, he, like you said, he's always been a very good rebounder, um, and I think you know, I think some of that is also you know. Three pointers keep going up and up, and you know he's very good at coming back to to that elbow area and cleaning up the rebounds. And it's good for our offense because when he gets the rebound at that elbow area and he starts to push it in transition, as we all know, the whole defense going to line up, so it opens the floor up for other guys in transition and get some easy stuff going. Uh, you mentioned that uh, your touch feels good this year. Uh, is there anything you can attribute to to that? Yeah, um, I mean, I've put it over the last couple of years. I've put a ton of time in with uh, in the summer with Travis every day, every workout. We work on touch, uh, no matter what the focus of that workout is going to be. Every single day we work on it, and you know, when Jacob Rubin, same thing. Every time we're on the court, we we work on touch, and you know, you just. After you put so much work in, you just get more and more confidence in it. And I think the more confidence you can play with, especially in this league, uh, you, you give yourself a much better. Know, it was about two minutes left or so. Uh, I mean, he's been shooting it in terms of when he's open, shooting with confidence. And that was a big shot, you know, considering how the game was flowing down the stretch when we needed it. Um, and everything he was doing on the defensive end was – I mean, Draymond-esque, but it was just, uh, it was unbelievable and turn it into some offensive success for us and a big shot. It was it was huge. Um, and we want to see more of it because, you know, he's capable. Do, do the carry and travel calls that have been called this season, do they make any sense to you? Yeah. What we talked about last game is just the consistency of it. It seemed very consistent tonight. Uh I had bone to pick with them. They missed one carry. But uh, all the ones they did call were pretty clear travels um, and not much to argue about. Just, you know, <clears throat> make the the adjustments based on, you know, how the game is called. And we're talented enough to do that. But, again, it's just making sure it's consistent on both sides and game after game so that you have – a nice rhythm to it, and you have an understanding of what's what's uh, being focused on on that on those calls. What's the difference between Jordan on a night like this, maybe compared to like another night where he struggles? Is it really just a matter of you know shots are going in or not going in, or is there like an extra gear that he gets into when he's able to have like a big scoring night like this? He talked about it. I think I saw him. <clears throat> it was at the practice yesterday. Or something confidence is always there. It's just a matter of. Sticking with it through some of the, the rough passes that you have that every shooter has. Um, I think the only biggest difference is just aggressiveness. Like, look for your shot. You know, don't be passive out there. Just find ways to, you know, create space. Make the game simple. And if you have a shot, take it. Don't think about what the box score says. Don't think about which his percentage is. You think about the reps you put in, you shoot the ball, and we all live with it. And uh, it's nice to hear him say something similar to that and then, you know, be rewarded in a game like tonight. Um, but that's the ebb, ebb and flow of the season. you got to make approach the game the same way no matter you know, whether you're hot, cold, or streaky, as he says. 
I'll ask uh, Raymond after, but it feels like you guys win like 400% of the time when Draymond makes multiple three-pointers. Did it Was it a different emphasis going into this season as far as him letting it fly? Do you see anything different or just kind of less hesitation and a lot of confidence there? I mean, I don't know how many threes you shoot in a game. It it's probably not that many, but it's just, again, confidence. Picking and choosing your spots, whether you... He wants to play make when he's open, depending on how people guard him. <clears throat> he gets downhill, he, I mean, he had 10 assists tonight, so he's always going to be a playmaker. But when you have a, you know, an opportunity to stretch the defense out, make him pay for, you know, leaving you out there, we want him to take those open ones. And he has to have the confidence, like he did tonight, to, to shoot him. And uh, it's great to see, because I think he feeds off that energy when he makes one early, when he makes one late, doesn't really matter. But I think when one goes in, it's definitely a good vibe for, for everybody. Speaking of uh, feeding off energy, how much fun was that long pass to him with the layup? Seemed like you guys were really loving it. He had high fives to everybody. It was like a, uh, a classic Sam Darnold to DJ Moore connection. Nobody's ever said that ever, <laughs> ever. And I'm using that one. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> you you got your sixth uh, foul wiped off with a challenge late. Is that like a, a lesson on why it's like wise to save the challenge even if you guys don't like a second quarter call or something like that? I mean, I don't know how they, the coaching staff, what rules they put in in terms of how you make those decisions because you have to make them quick. You got guys behind the bench looking at the monitors trying to – make that assessment when you have it late and it's a play like that that's a no-brainer um but depending on how the momentum is early in the game or if you know you undeserved points are going on the board and you might want to you know take that chance knowing it could change the momentum early and you won't necessarily need it late but it is nice to have they do need to change their rule though because earlier there's a couple questionable ones and if you challenge it and you are successful like you shouldn't be penalized yeah, yeah, hundred um, percent. I don't understand that. I know they want to speed the game up and not have eight hundred challenges, but you also don't want to have to pick and choose whether you know something's blatant or not, um, whether the challenge is necessary uh, to keep it or waste it at that point. Steph, um, <laughs> beyond your rebounding numbers, as we were talking about earlier, how important is it for the guards on this team, whether it's you, Clay, whomever, Dante? to help with rebounding. I mean, you guys aren't the biggest team, obviously, in the league. Um, how much does that sort of feed into what you do? It's important because when we're playing at our best and when we're defending at our best, we're not fouling. So to make or miss, it keeps the game going. But then on the misses, you can turn that into easy offense where whoever gets the rebound, everybody else is running. And like you said, we're not the biggest team, but we can outrun a lot of people. A lot of other teams in that respect. So you give up one shot, whoever gets it go, you have an advantage, and you got the shooters, you know, space on the floor and transition. You got a playmaker coming down the middle. We're usually tough to stop at that point. So uh, it's important for everybody to help Draymond and. and